Hello guys, welcome to a new video tutorial series for Iceland 1FS7. Entire series will be based on the command line approach. This video is an introduction for command line. In subsequent videos, we will see various other administrative tasks that we can do from uh, command line. So first thing is that all Iceland commands starts with ISI and if you will type ISI and hit enter, you will see the other subcommands. All the subcommands has been categorized in cluster monitoring, cluster configurations and hardware and devices, file system configuration and various other uh, categories are there. And each subcommands we can see there is a brief introduction given about that subcommand. One more good thing about uh, Iceland command line is that the auto completion feature. So you don't have to type exact uh, words. Iceland itself will uh, fill up the commands that you want to execute. So let me show you one example. Suppose if you want to see the overall status of a Iceland cluster. So just type ISI. And after that, if you don't know where to proceed, just hit tab. It will show you all other subcommands that associated with ISI. So now we want to see the overall status. Below you can see that there is a subcommand called status. So just type S then it will show you what are the subcommand starts from S and then status. So now hit enter. So this command will show you the overall status of uh, the Iceland cluster like how many nodes are there and uh, what is the total size, what is the available size, what is the current jobs and in many other uh, features it will show you. Now let's go a little bit further. If you want to create one CFA share, so definitely we will create these shares uh, in subsequent videos. But uh, now just for example, I am showing you ISI SMB share create and then hit enter. So this command is not uh, complete. That's why we can see missing required arguments that is name and path. So let me tell you how we can interpret these uh, informations. So anything within the angle bracket is compulsory. So you have to replace this angle bracket with a certain parameter. So in this case, it can be the name of the share, the path that you want to export as the SMB share. Now, if you'll go a little bit down, you can see some things are there are in square bracket. So whatever present inside the square bracket, those are optional. If you don't mention these, the commands will still run. And inside that uh, square bracket, you can see there is some curly bracket. So curly bracket will have the group of uh, options and those options will be separated by a pipe symbol. And these options are mutually exclusive. Either of the options you have to mention and provide the required value in order to complete the command. One more easier way to use hyphen hyphen help to see what commands are there that we can use along with the parent command. So this output will provide you a little bit more information about uh, each options. So here we can see the options and uh, we can also see options and what could be the value that we can provide against each uh, option. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please uh, comment to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos on this video tutorial series.